Today, Rusty the dog is visiting Whirlbury Hill Fort in Western Supermare, and we're going to explore with him. Whirlbury is an Iron Age hill fort that looks out over the Bristol Channel. Perhaps you've been there before. There were people living on the hill fort in the Iron Age, between two and two and a half thousand years ago. Let's find out what foods they grew and what meals they might have eaten at this time. The most well-known excavations of Whirlbury happened in 1851, when they found lots of interesting things, many of which are now on display in nearby Western Museum. They drew maps of the hill fort, showing where people might have lived, as well as the seven huge banks, ditches and stone walls that were constructed as defences on the sides that faced inland. The people lived in roundhouses and farmed on the hill slopes. Life came to a sudden end, however, when an enemy attacked and the people were killed. The excavations found 93 stone-lined pits, as well as pottery vessels, bone, wood and antler tools, and even human burials, where the murdered people were thrown into the pits. They also found evidence of what people would have eaten inside the pits. Burnt grain, such as barley, wheat and oats, were found along with the pottery containers they used. There was also evidence for raised granaries and ovens. The Iron Age people grew wheat and barley, which they made into bread, porridges and stews. Milk from cows and possibly sheep was probably used to make cheeses. Beef, pork and mutton or lamb were the most common types of meat eaten, along with fish and seafood. Nuts and berries were gathered, along with herbs. They would have also made drinks, such as beer and mead, which is an alcoholic drink made from honey. There are no written records to tell us what the Iron Age people ate, so the evidence comes from animal bones, burnt seeds, food left in pots, and even the stomach contents of preserved bodies in peat bogs. Archaeologists have experimented with foods to come up with recipes that Iron Age people may have used. Some foods would be similar to those we eat today, like stews, soups or flatbread, but others sound a little more strange, like clay-baked hedgehog, curd cheese fritters and bee sting pudding. If you would like to try out some strange historical recipes for yourself, head to Western Museum's website, or to explore Whirlbury Hill Fort online, head to the Know Your Place website to investigate historical and modern maps of the area.